Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. This is what I do every single morning before work, and typically it doesn't take me too long, probably between 15 to 20 minutes, if that. I can do it really quickly. I eliminate eyeshadow altogether, and I just focus on face makeup and some winged liner and some basic lashes. So this is pretty quick. I hope it's going to help you out. It's mostly drugstore too. For the items that I did not have drugstore, I will be sure to list alternatives on the blog post that goes with this video so you guys can get more affordable options if you don't want to spend the money on the higher end ones. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm first starting out using my Smashbox Primer Water, and I actually use this as my face primer. It feels really good on your face, and it seems to be doing a pretty good job at keeping my makeup on longer. Then for my foundation, I'm using my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation, and I'm just using a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush to apply. This is my favorite brush to use with this foundation because I get the best coverage with it. I do a combination of swirling motions and also stippling too. I mostly stipple it around areas I need more coverage. Now for concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I'm actually using a beauty blender to blend this out, and the beauty blender is also dry. I find that this method works the best with this particular concealer. Not any other foundations or concealers usually work well with this when it's dry, but this one in particular definitely does because it doesn't absorb too much and it just helps blend it out without actually taking it away. So now I'm using my Coastal Scents Camouflage Concealer Palette. I'm just using a Coastal Scents like pointed concealer brush or something, I forget what it's called, but I'm just dabbing this on any areas where I need some more coverage. Then I'm using my ELF HD Perfect Finish Setting Powder and just a small kabuki brush to apply this all over my face. This is my favorite face powder. It keeps my foundation lasting a really long time. Now for bronzer, I'm using my Anastasia Contour Palette and this new Sigma brush that I am obsessed with so much. I'll have all these products linked on my blog if you're interested in them. But this makes contouring so easy. It just blends everything in a flash so I don't have to spend time really like chiseling out my face or anything. It just gives me a really nice natural contour. I'm mostly just trying to use up this shade in the palette because it's pretty light so it's good for when I don't really have much of a tan. But I will recommend you guys to a cheaper alternative for contour powder if you're interested. So now for blush, I'm using my e.l.f. Cream Blush Palette that I recently got. And I'm taking the bottom left color, which is just a nice mauve pink color. I'm using an e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush just to blend this all over my cheeks. I really like this brush because it's so small and you can really control where the cream blush goes and it just applies it flawlessly. I love this palette too. I actually did a video recently on my favorite e.l.f. products, so I'll link that down below. Now I'm using the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette, I'm taking the top left shade and I'm just using a large fluffy blending brush just to apply that to the tops of my cheekbones. I also apply it to like my temples and down my nose. So then I'm just flipping it around to the other side which is just like a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just using that same color and, and I'm actually highlighting the inner corners of my eyes and also under my brow bone. If I have extra time I like to do this just to kind of brighten up my eyes a little bit and give my brows some lift. Now I'm using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil just to shape up my brows a bit. I'm just kind of filling in the areas that have hardly any hair that aren't very defined like my arch and also the tail of it. Now I'm just taking the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade and I'm using a very small brow brush to actually apply this all throughout my brows. My brows are way lighter than my hair because I do dye my hair darker so I have to do this so they will match. I could actually fill them all in with the pencil, but I just prefer to do it this way just so everything just blends a little bit better. So now to set those in place, I'm using my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel, which I've had forever. This thing does not ever run out. So now moving straight into eyeliner, I'm using my Studio Gear Invincible Gel Eyeliner in Onyx, I think it's called. And this is just a really nice black eyeliner. It's very smooth. Actually, I have a 10% off coupon code for Studio Gear if you're interested. But I really like this eyeliner. It's my favorite. It lasts all day. It's pretty much waterproof. It's really easy to work with and creamy. And then once it dries, it sets and it's not going anywhere. So I'm actually using a, I think this is Sedona Lace um, angled eyeliner brush. I like this one because it's really thin so I can get a very precise line. And I'm also just taking it about halfway down on my lower lash line. Finally, it's time for lashes, so I'm just going to curl them using this Revlon eyelash curler. This one's actually pretty interesting because it has a little bit of a curve in the center, so it helps to kind of give your eyelashes more lift in the center. Now I'm using my favorite Maybelline mascara. This is the Lash Sensational. This just gives me a really nice, clean, defined volume with no clumps. Really quickly apply some of this because usually by now I'm in a hurry. 
Now for lips, I'm going pretty basic and I'm just using the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Touch of Berry Lipstick. And I really like these lipsticks. This is the only one I have from this line, but they're really moisturizing. They're kind of like a lip butter texture. They just go on really smoothly and they're pretty sheer too, so you really can't go wrong with them because they're still going to be pretty wearable. Um, I'm sure they have other colors too, but I just love this classic mauve color. So now I'm finally finished with my everyday makeup look. Usually by this point I will spray some more of that primer water just as a setting spray to lock my makeup in place for the whole day. So that's it for my everyday makeup routine. Please head to the blog post which is linked down below if you want to purchase any of the products. I'll have links to them and where you can get them and stuff and also pictures of the look. I'll also leave all my makeup tutorials linked in the description box below if you want to check out that playlist too if you want to see more of my more dramatic looks and more natural ones as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be all about how you can get smooth, baby soft feet just in time for summer. It's already March and the weather is already warming up here to where